Welcome back to Prognosis. In this video, let us understand how to define a view and the view display mode on the appointment schedule screen. The view is customizable instead of viewing a daily or weekly schedule for one provider at a location individually. Users can define a view that includes multiple providers at a specific location. To begin, navigate to the Appointments tab. Click on View. This is the view search pop-up with list of defined views. You may click on an existing view to edit it. Or click on this Add New button to define a new view. This is the view screen. The name text field is to set the name for the view. Providers and resource at selected location list here is used to select the providers or resources. Providers or resources can only be added to the list one at a time. Multiple entries cannot be added at once. Select a provider or resource, now click on this right arrow button. This entry gets added to the selected providers and resources at location list here. Follow this step to add more entries. If you try to add an entry that is already in the list, clicking the right arrow button will invoke this pop-up. Click on OK. This selected providers and resources at location list here can be rearranged by using these move up and move down buttons. Select an entry. Click on the move up button. Or select an entry and click on the move down button. If any entry needs to be removed, select it and click on the left arrow button here. Providers or resources from this list can be removed one at a time. You cannot remove multiple entries at once. Make sure the active checkbox here is checked. If not, this view will not be available in the view dropdown on the appointment schedule screen. Click on the Save button to save this view. You can see the Save Successful message here. Let us look at an existing view. An already existing view can be edited. Click on this search icon here. Click on a view from this view pop-up. You can either add more entries to the selected providers and resources at location list, or remove entries from it. Delete button here is to delete a view. On click of delete, you get this pop-up. Click on OK button. A delete successful message is displayed and the last saved view opens. Now, let us understand how the view display mode works. Navigate to the Appointments tab. Click on Schedule. Select the View Radio button. This is how the view mode looks. It is for all providers and all locations. You can view up to seven provider columns on this screen at a time. Use these right and left arrow buttons to navigate left or right. To see other providers or resources. This first drop-down list consists of all the active views and this second drop-down list is for selecting a location. Select a view. Now, select a location. This is how the view display mode works on the appointment schedule screen. This was all about defining a view and the view display mode on the appointment schedule screen. For any help, contact our support team. Thanks for watching.